come on in everyone come on in because i am back for the review of 90 day fiance before the 90 days thank y'all for putting up with me i know i'm late i know i'm late um i guess i would say i'm on a cp time <laughs> it's old saying color people time but i definitely ain't on no chicken time because don't chickens wake up early in the morning <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. What we got to talk about, folks? We got to talk about this crazy Renee. <laughs> we could sell so many jokes, y'all. We could tell so many jokes. We could call her uh, uh, chicken shit crazy. <laughs> I can say that maybe Renee got salmonella from eating some bad chicken and some bad eggs. I don't know what's going on with this woman, but maybe I'll just start calling her the salmonella chicken lady. <laughs> Well, we calling this what season seven, episode three, Sound and Fury. Sound and Fury. I guess the sound gotta come from Chide, because he gotta be listening to these sounds. He gotta listen to crazy Renee. He can't see all her crazy facial expressions, but um he can definitely hear them. <laughs> so I guess maybe the sound is from hearing and the fury is from her fury. <laughs> Lord, 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 have mercy. Help her. Help her fix it, Jesus, fix it. But um, when the show first came on, we got Renee over there sweeping up that floor. It's darn near like they living in a chicken coop with all that dirt on the floor. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you got houses that have the open windows and you live in a lot around a lot of dirt. The dirt comes in and gets on the on the tile floor. So Renee ought to be right at home. <laughs> With all that dirt on the floor, having to get down on your hands and knees and sweep. I don't know if I can live in Nigeria. If that's what I got to do every day, I don't know if I can live in Nigeria. Are they going to have to get some Swiffer moppers for me to live in Nigeria? <laughs> Something. A Roomba. So it can run around on that floor and clean that stuff up. I can't be down there on my hands and knees with that broom. But um, she was right at home. She felt right. She didn't have no problem doing it. And uh, she said, this, this is better accommodations than I got at home in the chicken coop. <laughs> But anyway, um, one thing she is acknowledging about herself is that she's a lot to handle. At least she's self-aware, I guess. I guess she's self-aware. I guess we could say that, right? She's self-aware and um, Chile decided he's going to wake up early in the morning and cook her a nice breakfast, scrambled eggs and ham. He said, I know how to do this. I know how to work my way in the kitchen, get around, know where everything is. And I'm, I'm, I was impressed. I was impressed what Chide was able to do. The only part I got a little bit scared when he was working with the knives. And then when he lit that gas stove and that flame was like, poof. I was like, oh, Chide, don't blow us up. Don't blow us up, Chide. Um, but Renee ate them eggs. She ate them eggs. It's funny. Renee says, let the chickens live. Let the chickens live. But she'll eat the eggs. She'll eat the chickens. I guess she can't just watch them die maybe that's what it is i guess you don't go to them them fresh crab places where you pick out your crab and they push out your fresh lobster they go over there and put that thing in that boiling water and you be going Aah! she can't catch no fresh fish either she can't catch a fish and then fry the fish or cook the fish i don't know like i said the chicken lady salmonella lady she got some real quirks about herself i knew she was crazy when she started talking about aliens extraterrestrials and everything else she was talking about she crazy a shoot the way she was talking i'm surprised she ain't using no chickens for no voodoo or something spilling the blood on the chicken's neck <laughs> what's she gonna be using for her little crazy ceremonies i think renee is crazy i think she's really really crazy um so yeah she was able to make her some good scrambled eggs scrambled eggs breakfast and uh renee loved it she thought it was delicious and you know cause she sit back she'd be looking at chide's ass like, oh he looks so good i just want to rub all over him he feels so good to me and chide was like shoot renee get me aroused with all that conversation <laughs> he said but i'm a christian i'm saved i'm saved and i'm a christian i'm not gonna give in to this lust and he says but I, he got great passion for her great passion for her and uh, he said, but I ain't going to break my vow to God. Absolutely not. And he's scared to death of her. <laughs> Chita, you better lock up them knives. Lock up them knives. Because he said he is scared to death of her. 
but um they decide to go out to this chicken market or a market period and uh the sister is trying to teach uh renee how to care for cheetah like how you gotta guide them through the streets because they driving crazy over there in nigeria as well and he said you gotta guide them across these roads because they ain't no stop signs ain't no lights ain't no speed limits this this is this is the wild wild west over here but these chickens know how to stay alive the chickens is running around they ain't getting hit by no doggone cars <laughs> So I guess maybe the chicken, maybe she had to get some chicken guides for Chide. I don't know. But um, one thing Chide said that was interesting, he was said since he became blind, his hearing has become heightened. I've often heard that, that when you lose one of your five senses, then some of your other senses really getting heightened. So he was saying the market really isn't the type of place he likes to go to because it's just, it's just way too much chatter for him. It's almost like overload. But he said, I'm going to go here with my girl because, you know, I want to show around the town. And uh, they went over there and started picking out some food. And when they got to them chickens, Renee was fit to be tied. She was like, oh, I'm not having none of this. No parts of this. If you get this chicken, I would rather starve than eat this chicken. Let the chicken live. <laughs> and I mean to tell you that facial expression. She they better be glad he's blind and couldn't see the facial expression. Because if he could see the facial expression, he'd really be scared. He'd be more scared of Renee than he is from crossing that Nigerian road with all them cars. I'm telling you, it was it was quite scary. Like I said, she might got salmonella. <laughs> she might got salmonella. Don't salmonella disorient you? <laughs> Maybe that's what's making her kind of crazy. She over here talking about what kind of person would kill a chicken that's part of your family. Girl, you over here chowing down. You just chow down on four eggs. <laughs> You just chowed down over the four eggs the chickens laid, and then you just told the lady that you good with eating some chicken too. Okay. Okay, Renee. But that sister saw enough. That sister saw enough for Renee to say, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned about the chicken lady with the salmonella because uh, this ain't going to be good for a blind man. She don't, you know what? You be worried about people coming up behind you, worried about people attacking you in your sleep. Shoot. Renee could attack Chide while he's awake <laughs> and just sitting upright. Cause he will never see it coming never see it coming uh no this ain't gonna work <laughs> this is not gonna work but you know who is working out odd non and tiger lately who would have known i never would have thought this woman would have gone through with this y'all i'm serious i never would have thought it but isn't it odd that she had to leave her friends at home and then she got to go over here um for the wedding and it was all his family and friends but no one for her why is she get, letting herself get isolated like this? Why is she doing this? But I'm going to tell you one thing <laughs> that was really, really funny. Was when she gave her glam squad the night off, she had to get her hair done when she, you know, she was going to get ready for this wedding. And so she called a hairstylist from the hotel. So girl, you brought your stylist all the way from the United States to come here. And then you gave them the day off. <laughs> they need to be working. They don't need no days off. They need to be working. They already getting a free trip in a free hotel in Jordan. They need to be working. So, uh, you know, Tiger Little, she nice. She's real nice. That kind of tells you what her heart is, kind of really, if you think about it. The fact that she paid these people to come over here, but then she want them well rested for the um for the party. I thought that was nice. She a good employer. <laughs> she is a good employer. Instead, she so instead she had to bring up the the hairstylist that's affiliated with the hotel. And when that man got up there, Anon was like, what? They ain't got no female hairstylist? <laughs> What's going on here? He said, um, I was okay with it when you was bringing your friend, the gay friend. I, you know, I was going to rock with it. I was going to be cool with it. But now you bringing up this man that um, you don't have no affiliation with. <laughs> that man was so scared to touch Tiger Lily. That man was so scared to touch Tiger Lily. <laughs> He was sitting on the corner like, is this man I-9 going to behead me? <laughs> is he going to behead me from touching his wife? And then he told that man, you got five minutes, five minutes to curl all this weave. <laughs> to curl all this weave, I only got five minutes. Even Tiger Lily was saying, well, technically it ain't really my hair. He really not, tech, he really not touching me, I-9. He touching some other woman over in, I don't know, India or Brazil. <laughs> Cause this is really her hair this ain't my hair this is a woman's hair that we ain't never met over in china india brazil we don't know where she come from 
So technically, is this okay in the Islam in the faith of Islam, the Muslim world? What will Allah say about touching this fake hair, even though it's on my head? It really ain't me, baby. It really ain't me. And they love to call each other baby. Oh, I love you so much, baby. Oh, I love you so much, baby. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. I love you so much, baby. But she getting worried about these five cat kids that I nine one. She already got two of her own. And she's 41 years old. She's like, how am I going to keep having babies from 41? I think they do that over in Jordan, Tiger Lily. They have babies till they can't have them no more. It ain't nothing about, uh, I don't want to have stop having babies at uh, 30 or 40. Mm -mm. They just keep, I think they just keep having them. <laughs> so girl, he ain't worried about your age of being 41. Either that or he's after her money. I have no idea. We need to figure out, we need to find out more about Adnan. That mama, that mama said, that mother of Adnan said uh, she could see the fear in Tiger Lily's eyes. She saw the fear, but she didn't stop her. She said, yeah, you scared. You ought to be scared, but let's keep on going to sign this marriage contract. But as soon as after they got married, they went to get, they went to their marital room, their marital bed, and he's a virgin. So she got to see, um, does he know what he's doing? But I guess he watched enough porn videos and Instagram to figure it out because they said the night was a fabulous a fabulous he said it was the best light, night of his life <laughs> he said this was the best night of my life and uh tiger lily said she had a good time too she had a grand old time so uh, she's a little bit more experienced than uh Anon, but she said they did everything under the sun how did he learn all them things how did he learn all them things i'm telling you they'd be over there watching a lot of porn a lot of porn but when she was getting her hair done, he was like, nope, your body's for me. And he devoured it that night. He was telling her to pull them shorts down because he didn't want that glam man looking at her legs. <laughs> and shoot, when it came time after that wedding, he took her to that bedroom. He told that camera crew, get on out of here because we about to make this a night to remember. <laughs> he said, I might have given that, that, that hair man only five minutes to do your hair, but I'm going to take three hours to mess it up. <laughs> He said, I'm going to take all night to mess it up, Tiger Lily. He's like, where's that tiger? Where is that tiger in Tiger Lily? <laughs> Bring her out. We got to meet this other man from Bangladesh living in, in South Africa, Durban now. And um, I forget his name already, but he's from Bangladesh. And um, but he living in South Africa. And he done met the woman via on a date nap. And he told me how he fell in love with her eyes and everything. But I don't know when we saw her um, in real life, her eyes don't look like them eyes that was in the pictures. I hope she didn't put none of them <laughs> blue contacts or gray contacts. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it was the light, the camera angle, but her eyes on the picture look completely different from her eyes on the camera. I'm just saying, I just hope she ain't. I hope she didn't trick the man with no um, color contacts. <laughs> but he all getting ready for her. He said he's ready for her. And um, they're telling us she's going to end up bringing her boyfriend over there to meet him and, and things going to go wrong. They're going to go wrong real fast. But he looked like he ain't going to be having it. None of it. We saw the previews. He's telling her, go on back. Go on back to the United States, girl. I ain't having none of this. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what goes on with that. He, he seems like he's wishful thinking, but it looked like it's going to go bust real fast. So I guess we're going to see a little bit of that later on. We didn't really get that much of... Um, brian and ingrid either they just getting back to the apartment she going in and showering getting all ready and um he took his little blue pill <laughs> oh he said half a blue pill he said i'm ready i hope he don't have no heart attack up in there he just said that he can have a brain aneurysm for two from having sex good lord this man done flown on a plane all the way to brazil he done traveled 18 20 hours now he's taking a half a blue pill you're doing too much, Brian. All for, all for some cookies? You willing to die over some Brazilian cookies? Okay. But on the other end, we still got a hot mess, Lauren and Faith. Ooh, I really don't like Lauren. He doing Faith wrong, y'all. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I really like Faith. She's so excited. She's so looking forward to this new life she's thinking she's about to get. And she ain't, she ain't about to get nothing. This man, I mean, you talk about catfishing in the wrong kind of way. He done catfished her over the fact that he's broke. He can't afford her. He can't even afford himself. He done catfished her. He don't want no monogamous relationship. He does not want to get married. He done flown all, all the way over here to the Philippines talking about we only got 20 days to get busy because we got to know if we're sexually compatible. I'm going to have to know if you're willing to swing and have an open relationship. I have to know if you're ready to, to uh, accept me with no money. No, no, and no. 
You could have got all them answers when you was back living in where he from Florida or somewhere that Vegas. That's where he's from Vegas. You could have got all these answers in Vegas, Lauren. You didn't need to come all the way over here for this. I do not like Lauren. Not one bit. Take it slow, faith. Take it slow because if faith takes it slow, she is going to spot this man. She going to figure it out. She going to figure him out real quick, real quick, because faith is smart. Faith is sharp. I see it. Faith. Come on now, faith. You could get it. You can get it. Don't give yourself to this man. Don't let him try to pressure you into bed. And he ain't got no money. D homeless. Talking about an open relationship. And he don't really want to get married. Ugh, I can't stand Lauren. But Faith was good. She put him in his own room. He was like, why am I living over here? Why ain't I sleeping with you? I'm trying to get busy on night one. Ugh, go take a shower, Lauren. You've been traveling all this time. You ain't even taking a bath yet. We on episode three. Take a bath. Then he breaks out this old lousy 40 questions to Faith. Faith was like, this is lame. This is lame. This is weak. That was her first uh, clue that she's like, he act like we in grade school. <laughs> she didn't like it. She didn't like it one bit. That's her first red flag. She already catching on to it. That's right, Faith. Catch on to it, lady boy. Catch on to it. She told him, I want to take it slow. And he's like, well, we got 20 days to figure this out. It ain't going to take Faith 20 days to figure out this man is broke and he ain't about shit. Chicken shit, Lauren. We talk about the chicken lady uh, over there, Renee. Maybe I'll start calling Lauren a chicken shit, Lauren. But anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all I got for this episode. The next episode is coming on soon, so I'll see you soon. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.